Hello, everyone. Welcome to the weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend for today, Friday, March 29th through Sunday, March 31st. Yeah, this is a general energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not specific to anything. It's not love specific, science specific, career or anything like that. This is literally just what spirit wants to discuss with us today. Okay. Um, just a quick reminder. Uh, I will be releasing the rest of the Zodiac readings this weekend. Um, I should have the rest of them out by Sunday. Also, <clears throat> I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop today, Friday, from um, about 11 to 5. I might be there a little later today. I'm not quite sure yet, but I will at least be there from 11 to 5. And then Saturday, March 30th, tomorrow, I will be at Collective. And if you would like, to, you can pre-book an in-person session with me. Um, the link to Om Shanti Bookshops bookshop is in the description box below you can go there get their phone number and call in and schedule a reading you can also email chloe for a reading at collective on saturday her email is in the description box below also i just want to uh, say quickly i will be at awaken fair in Terrytown, New York on April 28th. If you would like to pre-book a session there, the link is in the description box below. There are 15 or 30 minute sessions. Pre-booking for Awaken Fair um, ends on the 27th of April, okay? So, I guess that's it. It is Friday. We are at the weekend, guys. I am actually kind of excited. Um, just to have some time off, just, you know, some time to myself, whatnot, whatever. It's been a good week. I hope you guys had a great week. And yeah, so let's just get into it. Let's see what we've got for the weekend. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of March 29th through the 31st. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so something I just want to point out, just because the messages are dated for this weekend, as in the 29th through the 31st, it doesn't mean it has to resonate this weekend, okay? If anything, this could just be something to meditate on, you know, just something to bounce around in your head for a little bit, to, to gain a little bit more perspective or a little a bit of a new perspective. We have been in a period of really changing our perspectives. I want to say within the last week specific well no within i'll say within like the last two weeks really um you know especially with what was going on with mercury being in retrograde mercury is now moving direct however it is going to be in a shadow period for about the next two weeks we talked about that yesterday um check out my instagram account if you would like to see the reading that i did live there it was all about the uh, shadow period of Mercury. That was kind of like a companion to, to yesterday's reading or, uh, or the, the reading for March 28th. Um, but yeah, so just take it as it resonates. And if it's not really resonating or if it's not something you're going through right now, just take it as like a little bit of a, a meditation tool, something to think about. Yeah? Spirit wanted me to say that, so... I did. <laughs> All right, guys, one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for today. Well, actually, the weekend. All right, weekend edition. Best messages, clear it. Spirit, what would you like to discuss with us today? There's that 10 of wands again. 
But it really feels, yeah, okay, cool. It really feels like the Ten of Wands is the focus here. Wow, we've got a lot today. For, oh, okay. For our weekend, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, underneath the deck you have the Eight of Cups. All right, so the overall theme here, the overall energy is Walking away, leaving some things behind, you have the first card, the first card that came up face up was judgment. I'm sorry, the ten of wands with judgment. Then we had the five of pentacles, but the ace of swords as well. Next, we have the hierophant, shadow work, ten of pentacles, and that hanged man. Wow. Sorry about that, guys. It's morning, 555. It's morning here in New York City, so <laughs> that there's a whatever going on. Let's talk about this. And then we're going to get into these face down cards. So this settle in, guys. This could be a little bit of a lengthy conversation here. But it is our weekend edition, so makes sense. Okay, so the focus right now is um, Ten of Wands, Judgment, Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands, burdens. Your burdens here don't necessarily just have to be something physical. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be responsibilities. These burdens very much could be thoughts. Thoughts about yourself, thoughts about the world around you, um, beliefs about yourself. Um, for example, if you feel like Maybe the world is out to get you, or the universe is against you, or life has to be a struggle, or you have to grind, grind, grind to make it through, to just to survive, blah, blah, blah. That is a burden that is being recognized here, okay? Judgment, ace of swords. If you feel like you are less than, like you are lacking, like you are... You, you're feeling rejected and you deserve to be rejected. You deserve to be left behind because you are some sort of inferior being, five of pentacles. That is be a burden as well. All of these things are coming to, you know what? Let me get into, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna put the judgment right next to the five of pentacles. I'm sorry, 10 of wands next to the five of pentacles. And then I'm gonna put judgment and the ace of swords together because it's time to let that go. You're, you're in a period right now, and this has been the theme, we're gonna say for the last two weeks, this has been the theme. Recognizing where your burdens lie, where your belief system is oriented, or how your belief system is oriented, and cutting out all of the things that no longer serve you. Ten of Wands, picking yourself up off the floor, and no longer leaving yourself out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. This is something that I used to say a lot months ago. No one in, 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 in truth, okay, in spiritual truth, in universal truth, however, however you want to see it or say it, no one can leave you out in the cold except yourself. Yes, some people may reach... I'm going to take that as confirmation if you heard all those sirens or those hot those oh, oh goodness gracious people anyway yes people can reject you people can hurt you they can leave you behind what not whatever but that doesn't mean yeah it might be painful in the moment but you don't have to do worse damage or you don't have to do any more damage by doing the same to yourself. If someone doesn't want to be with you, someone doesn't want to play with you, someone is, I guess, rejecting you, whatnot, whatever, oh well, that's their problem. You still have your connection with yourself and it's time to recognize that. It's time to leave all of those things behind, eight of cups, and really come into your own truth and drop these burdens with the 10 of wands, okay? We've got the Hierophant, in the, in the second row now, we've got the Hierophant, Shadow Work, again, Ten of Pentacles, again, Hanged Man, again. All of these things have been coming out a lot this week. I also want to point out, two tens, ten ten, completion. That has been a recurring number for many of us, okay? The Hierophant is saying two things. One, it's speaking to the status quo. It's speaking to 
the uh, I heard it's speaking to your relationship to the earth, okay? Um, society and all that stuff, right? A public opinion, right? Societal opinion. But it's also speaking to the lessons learned in terms of that. It's representing your higher self coming in and pushing all of this to the surface with shadow work, represented by shadow work here, in order for you to integrate with more of yourself in order for you to learn the lessons 10 of pentacles and i've been saying that the tens but especially the 10 of pentacles have been representing lessons learned lately especially the 10 of pentacles why is the 10 of pentacles any different than say the 10 of wands or the 10 of swords or the 10 of cups it's different because the 10 of pentacles represents the physical world the earthly plane the three-dimensional world or just the physical like earth whether it's three third or fifth dimension okay and because of that um well in relation to that we come here to earth to this physical plane in order to learn and so yes ten of wands that is a lesson learned as well ten of swords that is a lesson ten of cups that is a lesson but everything in terms of this definition everything culminates in the Ten of Pentacles, because we come down here to this physical realm to learn these lessons and to grow. And thus you have the change in perspective. Some of you are still feeling in this hanged man state. You're still feeling stuck, stagnant. You can't move forward, but it's okay. Because it's through this energies, through these energies, that you gain some new perspective, okay? Wow, there's a lot here. What have we got? Six of Pentacles is in reverse. Sun, the Sun, Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Good Lord, this is a big reading. <laughs> now, these cards were face down. Some of you are still doing some really deep shadow work here. There's a lot of illumination coming forward for you that is helping you bring yourself into balance, body, mind, and spirit with this Three of Cups here, okay? This does feel pretty tumultuous. Some of you, this is a, this is a little bit of a specific situation here. Some of you have, we're dealing with a narcissistic situation or an imbalanced situation, whether you were on the receiving end, like give, like receiving more and more and more and not really giving back, or you were the one giving, 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 giving and not receiving back. Regardless, there is illumination happening here. Regardless of which side of the spectrum that you're on, both of you were acting from a place of heartbreak, three of swords. Either that or someone is really waking up to the heartbreak that has been created by living or interacting with people, others in this way. And I do feel like for some of you or some situations, it's the person that was taking so much that is starting to recognize the toxicity in that. Either way, we have illumination with the sun here, okay? We have illumination with the sun and we have a bit of a cause for celebration with the three of cups but it's an integration process body mind and spirit it's this awakening that's causing this awareness it doesn't mean that you have to now just automatically let this person back in or whatnot whatever if the, i mean use your discretion but Ooh, excuse me there are definitely some changes happening here okay that's a little bit of a, this, this last row here is a bit of a hidden aspect. This is still a little bit, um, this is a bit of a, a smaller message, but also this is what a lot of us have come out of. So this could, it, it essentially, you could see, that's, yeah, okay. You could see these, this last row here as it fell out face down. Um, 
this is the past. This is what you've left behind. This is what you've closed out. And so now you've moved. So this was on a lower level. You moved up here. Some of you are up in this middle level where you're still kind of doing the shadow work. Others of you are up here on this other level where you are seeing clearly, cutting things out, releasing the burdens, hearing the call, rising above it, ascending. And ultimately, the general theme is leaving things that no longer serve you behind. Boop. There it is, y'all. That's beautiful. All right. So now let's get some clarification. I'm going to start with this bottom row here. Just get some clarification on this. Um, this is, for the most part, what we have left behind. And it was this imbalance in relationships here, the imbalance between give and take with the Six of Pentacles in reverse that um, really catalyzed a lot of this. It opened our eyes to where we needed to come into greater balance. Three of Swords, Three of Cups. And, you know, the threes in this row are really talking to, are speaking to the, um, how we all kind of work together here to learn these lessons. You don't come to the earth all by yourself. You're not like the only human on the planet. Um, we all learn these lessons together, okay? We all teach each other these lessons. It's... Excuse me. It's a group effort. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with this bottom row. Just a bit of clarification here. Please, spirit. Best messages. Just a bit of clarification. The moon in reverse. Excellent. You see? That's awesome. That's really awesome, you guys. Because, ah, with the lovers, I believe. Um... And, yeah, hold on, sorry. <laughs> yep, the lovers. What else? Let me see if there was anything else that flipped out. But, I mean, you have the sun in this bottom row, and then the moon just popped out. It popped out. Ah, justice. Yes. Underneath the deck, you have the world. You see, this was a major, major cycle for a lot of us. The world is underneath the deck. I'm using the Epic Tarot today. The world is underneath the deck. We have the lovers, justice, and the moon that has come out in reverse. Now, all of this is major arcana right now, okay? So do you see how big of a cycle this was for all of us? I was going to say many, but I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It's for all of us, okay? Um... You needed to choose. There needed to be a choice between vice or virtue. And the virtue here was the choice to come into union with the self. Three of Cups, the lovers. These are both union cards. However, the lovers is a divine union card, okay? You needed to choose yourself. You needed to see through the illusion, the sun with the moon in reverse. Okay, you needed to take advantage of the illumination around you that the universe was bringing forward, that spirit was bringing forward, and leave that there, and make some sort of judge, judgment call that brought justice into your life. Okay, that's excellent. Justice is, number, is card number 11 also. Ascension. Okay, now I want you guys to look at where the moon fell. The moon fell, now it fell in reverse, but it fell on the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands. The lessons learned with the Hierophant into, leading into the release of burdens. Or maybe even just at least at this point, because this is the top tier here, so this is kind of, we're moving from the bottom up to the top, right? In this situation, especially with the Ace of... Good God. 
sorry guys, especially with the Ace of Swords being in this <clears throat> row here, you're, you're either, maybe you're cutting out some of the burdens, but what's necessary at least right now is just to become aware of them. Well, there you go. Seeing clearly the, the moon in reverse, seeing through the illusion, seeing through the lies, the manipulation, okay? Thus, this was, in this bottom row here, this was the start, the catalyst to a major cycle completing, okay? It's beautiful. Super beautiful. Okay, so let's get into the second row then. The second tier of this process, right? Learning the lessons, confronting your inner self, integrating with more of your higher self, starting that purge, doing that shadow work, bringing things to a completion with the Ten of Pentacles, being in a hanged man state. But all of this, all of this is speaking to, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to put the hanged man here, judgment at the end, because the shadow work and hanged man are the, the middle of the situation Confronting your higher self, integrating more of your higher self, and thus having to do the shadow work, being in a precarious position to gain some sort of new perspective, to understand things differently, to see things differently, and thus to learn the lesson and bring the situation towards completion, okay? Let's get some clarification here, please, spirit. <laughs> yes, the Ten of Swords. Wow, they are really loud today, aren't they, guys? I don't know if you can hear all those horns honking. Underneath, you have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, there was a lot. Of that. Speak, speaking personally, because I am, I really do feel like I have come up to this top row here. Maybe even above, maybe. I don't know. Not. I'm really not trying to like toot my own horn, guys, but... I've been going through this, so I'm, this is why it's I'm, I have a good idea of what's going on here, um, other than the fact that you know I'm channeling the, the information. But I have a perspective of my own to give you, so okay. Um, but this phase here, full of anxiety, full of anxiety. Why? Because of the Hierophant energy. Because more of your higher self integrating into your physical existence, which is effectively pushing all of the muck everything that is no longer in align with alignment with you everything that is detrimental that is toxic and all that it's pushing it all to the surface and bringing it up so that you can be aware of it and so that you can bring all of that to an end the 10 10 of swords we have three tens out here so far 10 of swords 10 of pentacles 10 of wands it would be great if we could get the 10 of cups we might but it's not necessary because ultimately that's what we're all working towards. But I say, I, I point that out because tens are numbers of completion. Tens are lessons learned, especially with this ten of swords here. In this phase of the cycle of the purging process, of the healing and the integration process, you have to face all of the negative thoughts, negative belief systems, all of the detrimental situations like for me personally I went through a period where I had to realign with what I wanted to do in life with why I identified as a musician a music lover wanting to make music wanting to work in music in some way I had to realign with that I had to sit down with myself and say is this really in alignment with me or can I can I express this in a better way? Ten of Swords. But yeah, that creates a lot of anxiety, especially if you're realigning or reanalyzing something that you have spent all of your life doing or you've spent all of your life identifying with or feeling really passionate about. And now all of a sudden, you may not be passionate about it anymore. You may not necessarily be going in that direction anymore. That creates a shit ton of anxiety, <laughs> right? But it's worth it. It's worth it. This hanged man is very much about getting into greater alignment through changing your perspective. 
coming to terms with why you're actually doing things or why you've been actually pursuing something. And maybe the reason why you were pursuing this outlet or this certain thing was because it was from an alignment that no longer resonates with you, okay? Ooh, okay. So now let's talk about this final row here. And let me tell you, this isn't the end. It's just the final row for the for this um, reading, okay? Now that you've gained some sort of clarity, you've seen the different, the, the, you've seen things differently, you've gained some sort of new perspective, now you can rise above the, the burden and the rejection or the, the feeling left out in the cold or whatnot. Rise above that with judgment, ascend with judgment, and cut things out that no longer serve you. Let's get some clarification here. I'm just gonna take all those ha horns as confirmation, <laughs> just cause this one, what was, this one wanted to, oh yeah, yeah, the fool, totally. Eight of swords, yep, the magician, look at that. <laughs> the nine of swords again, okay. Uh, the five of cups, the king of wands, so this is where a lot of us find ourselves right now okay the king of wands has fallen out sideways and it's fallen out on the ace of swords um so there is a process right now of gaining confidence and figuring out how it is you want to act king of pentacles underneath the deck is the four of pentacles but that was but then the higher font I'm going to take that out. And then the Hierophant is underneath the deck here. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're definitely in an integration process, okay? We're releasing Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, okay? The Eight of Swords is sideways. So look, this is all, this could really be everything that you're feeling right now. Anxiety, feeling trapped, um, feeling like needing to let go of some things and guilt, remorse, shame, regret, feeling loss. Okay, this is all a part of the process. You have to work through all of these emotions. You could be feeling all of these emotions or you could be stuck in some sort of way in these emotions. But this is all a part of the integration process with your higher self here. Five of the, the well, the five of the major arcana, the Hierophant. Um, we are, manifesting ourselves we're starting anew okay <laughs> we're manifesting ourselves the king of pentacles we're, com we're becoming grounded solid secure the king of wands came out but it's still kind of sideways because we're working on building this confidence within ourselves the surety of direction knowing exactly what it is we wanting to do a, p a big part of this king of wands energy is Figuring out not only just what we want to do, but how we want to go about doing it. But ultimately, this is beautiful, you guys. The fool straight into the magician. Now, the fool didn't actually fall out, but it caught my attention. And I felt called to pull it. Okay, so the fool with the magician. In some cases, what's happening here is it's a little bit backwards in the sense that you are manifesting creating with the magician energy you're manifesting this brand new beginning or this leap of faith and that has everything to do with the confidence and the sureness or surety of direction that is being developed here with the king of wands the king of pentacles energy i do feel like is is an energy that um you'd have have surmounted in this second tier here represented by the Ten of Pentacles. And so now we're built, we're working on building the passion and the excitement, the exuberance and the confidence and the plan of action also in this next tier. Wow, okay, that was a lot, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to close this weekend's reading with a card from the Lightworker Oracle. <laughs> Wow. 
people are really noisy today. I think people are just so excited for the weekend. They just, they're like, they're like, I don't even want to be going to work right now. I just want to get to the weekend, like get the hell out of my way. I got somewhere to go. <laughs> oh. oh boy. All right, one more shuffle. Let's see what we've got. Closing message, please. Spirit, best message for today's weekend. Card number 20, today's weekend. This weekend's reading, how about that? There we go. <laughs> Card number 26, key of light. 26 boils down to an eight, abundance. I've been seeing a lot of eights lately. And 17, 17 is just like following me everywhere. Okay. Here we go. Key of light. Archangel Michael loves you unconditionally and serves your soul journey. He brings you a spiritual gift now, the key of light. This key allows you to open any door, clear away any obstruction, and free yourself from any prison or enslavement, physical, emotional, or psychological. There is no need for you to feel trapped or locked out of a situation you want to get into. You now hold within your hands a divine key that will assist you in many ways. And there's an extra message. I'm going to read more, but there's an extra message coming through with that. It came through with the sentence, there is no need for you to feel trapped or locked out of a situation you want to get into. If you are feeling trapped or locked out of a situation, take another look at it. Maybe there's a reason that you're not supposed to be there. Maybe that's actually not in your, your highest good or it's not in alignment with you. When you stop resisting against, um, when you stop resisting and start going with the flow and recognizing that something that doesn't work out for you actually could really be a blessing in disguise, that's when you free yourself and you free your perception to see where you could be going what you could be aligning to or what you could be getting into instead of what you're not getting into, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna read a little bit more of this. Archangel Michael has a message for you. You have the power of the divine in you. You have the ability to free yourself no matter whether it seems that another person, a set of circumstances, or the entire world holds more power than you. Your power of freedom is unconditional. It doesn't require that outer circumstances change in order for you to be free. Though, as you choose freedom, outer circumstances often change radically. For now, to be free, use the key of light. This means staying true to what you know for yourself. Gently and lovingly assert your truth now. Do not cave in to naysayers and fear generators. Most especially, do not collapse under your own fears, I'm sorry, under your own old fears or doubts. Gently and persistently cleaving to the light within will bring you through any apparent obstacle, free you from any apparent prison, and ensure your divine destiny is fulfilled. All doors shall be opened to you. You are being given a gift of unconditional grace. Step back and radiate love from your center. This is your, I'm sorry, that is your way. You do not have to betray your spirituality to fight. You can fight with love and trust that you, that can be, okay, sorry. <laughs> you can fight with love and trust and that can be your way as a spiritual warrior. In each moment, you choose love and trust. You are fighting the good fight. You are learning that love is expressed in no, Oh, learning that love is expressed in no as much as in yes. For when you fight against those who want to deny the truth, you are standing clear and strong in loving truth. Michael helps you realize the strength that you already have within you to do this. This oracle is a message for you to trust in your own ability to triumph right now. You are the key to success. You must believe in yourself. You don't have to force a door open. In perfect time, according to divine grace, all doors will open for you. Your dreams and actions will prove themselves in time. No person, 
place or thing has any power to hold you back. The key of light is spiritual permission from the universe to succeed in your life mission. You shall not be kept back from your divine destiny. You shall be empowered to succeed. Refuse to give up on your dreams. This may seem, I'm sorry, this may mean freeing yourself from situations or relationships that have enslaved or controlled you. When you are ready, this can be done with great gentleness, compassion, and strength. Free yourself with love, not fear. You may need to lock doors to the past behind you. With divine empowerment, you can completely and utterly allow the past to be over. You will find that new doors can be, I'm sorry, you will find that new doors can then be unlocked for you. So there you have it, guys. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, again, look out for the rest of the Zodiac readings. They should be out by Sunday. And yeah, happy Friday to you. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.